Okay, um, I'm gonna do a few examples of implicit differentiation and um, let me start with the first example. If I have if I have a function like that okay that is quite easy to you know differentiate you can straight away apply the quotient rule but but if this function is not defined in such an easy form let me say if it's if it's defined like that okay now this is this whole thing is not a function anymore this is an equation okay well this is a function this is a function y a function of x so this is an equation and here you have to remember that y is still a function of x okay y is not an independent variable it is still a function of x right and now i have to differentiate this so what i do here the trick is that i differentiate both sides remembering that x is an independent variable and y is a function of x okay so let's start i'll apply the product rule here okay I keep the first function as it is and the derivative of x plus 4 which is 1 okay and you add the second function as it is times the derivative of the first now the first function is f of x so the derivative would be f dash x or you can say dy over dx since y also changes with x okay y is not independent of x so you write dy by dx there if if you were to d differentiate both sides with se with respect to y, then you could have written here one because dy over dy is one. But since you're differentiating with respect to x, y changes with x, so the derivative of y would be dy over dx equals to two x. Okay. And now dy over dx times x plus four equals two x minus y. So dy over dx equals to 2x minus y over x plus 4. And you could have got, get, got the same thing if, you've dif if, you'd, if you'd have uh, just differentiated this simply. But this is an equation and what, we, what we've done here is what is known as implicit differentiation. Okay, very simple. And um, this is one example.